A very good morning from Phuket and welcome to Safon Hin. On today's video, I thought I'd take a break from the tourist videos that I have been covering over the last few months and cover somewhere that's a little bit less known. If you're coming over to Phuket and you're visiting Phuket Town, which is an absolute must, and I will be covering Phuket Town in some fu future videos in a little bit more detail, but at the moment we're in an area called Safon Hin. The area itself is great for coming and relaxing. It offers a large park area. There is a sports centre inside. There are various restaurants that are dotted around the edge but it's mainly used by the locals for exercising either th first thing in the morning or late in the afternoon it's ideal for walking jogging cycling running you name it you can find something here they've even got a skate park here as well and it's set right near to the shoreline which offers some great views and where is it? Well, it's located on Phuket Road, which is right near to the immigration, the main immigration office on the island of Phuket. In fact, that's right in front of me now. The white building over there is the main Phuket immigration office. And if you follow the, where the cars are going to the right hand side there, that will take you into Phuket town. Now, literally Safon Hin is just five minutes from the center of Phuket town. So if you're coming here, you have a family or something, you just want somewhere to come that's peaceful, relaxed, in the daytime during sort of between 10 and 4 it's quite a quiet area really nice to come there are restaurants as you can see one over there dotted about there's quite a few restaurants in this area where you can enjoy some food and some drink there's also a nice little market area that they have on in the evening with food stalls Safon Hin does play host to a lot of events and festivals throughout the year these can range from anything from large markets to concerts there's also some very large festivals such as the Lai Katong festival which I will be covering later this year Sokran which has already gone of course and the vegetarian festival which runs at the end of September this year it's starting on the 29th of September running through to the 8th of October and Safon Hin plays a very important part in this festival as you enter into Safon Hin you are going to notice this large tin mining monument behind me this was actually built in 1969 to celebrate the 60th anniversary of an Australian guy called Captain Edward Thomas Miles, who bought the first tin dredge to the island of Phuket in 1909. Now the actual monument is in the shape of a drill bit. Now you may also notice this large shopping mall that's now been abandoned it used to be called the lucky plaza now there isn't a lot of information online about this particular shopping mall but i've spoken to my wife and she believes it's where robertson's was situated here before moving into phuket town but of course once they moved into the main town this then became abandoned now as you're making your way into saffron in passing the mining monument on your left hand side you are going to notice a large open area and this area is used for a lot of markets very large markets that are held throughout the year and again i will be covering some of these markets as and when they take place but this is a great place to come when the markets are on because it's not a tourist area the markets do offer some fantastic prices with a phenomenal range of goods Now, as you make your way further into Safon Hin, you will come to a second monument which is dedicated to the father of the Royal Navy, Admiral Prince Kumlawang Chomphon. The Prince spent his early years studying naval warfare in England, later to return to Siam to serve in the Royal Siamese Navy and contributed significantly to the advancement and modernization of the Navy and this constant unstinting dedication for the Navy ultimately earned him the title Father of the Royal Thai Navy.
What you tend to find is Saffon Hin really comes alive late afternoon, early evening, when you get a lot of the local Thai families descending on this particular area, whether it be for exercise or they bring some food and just chill out in the beautiful grounds that are surrounding this area. Or you can, if you don't bring food with you, you can always buy it from one of the many food stalls that are dotted around. In fact, they have a small food market down here most nights. So you're going to be able to purchase some food and drink and then just take in some of these beautiful views. As you can see, we're right on the coastline. Some lovely, lovely views here. So really this is a good place to visit any time of the day. If you prefer it quieter, then sort of during the daytime when people are at work, the local families, etc., you're gonna find this area a lot quieter. As you can see, there's not many people about at the moment. But early in the morning, you find a lot of locals come here to exercise. And then, as I say, late afternoon, early evening, people descend on this area really to relax, bring in food, maybe exercise, bring the dogs for walks, etc. That's what we tend to do. We tend to bring the dog down here in the evening because it's a lovely area to take her a walk. But there's also quite a few restaurants in this area. They're not very large, but they're dotted around. Some of them are only very small. Others are slightly larger. but it does offer some lovely scenery. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of flags around the park area at the moment, and these have been put in place in preparation for the start of the Vegetarian Festival later this month on the 29th of September, running through until the 7th of October. And Saffon Heen plays a very important part in this festival. And the reason for this is that there is a Chinese shrine situated within this area. Now this beautiful Chinese temple known by the name of Qutian Kang, if I've pronounced that right, plays a very important part on the last evening of the vegetarian festival as it is thought that this particular shrine is the departure point for all the gods and deities making their way back to heaven. So if you're coming down into the park area then it's well worth a visit and having a quick look around it really is a very beautiful and pretty temple especially late afternoon when it's all lit up Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video looking at Safan Hin. This is a fairly unknown area to the tourists. It's more an area where the locals come and enjoy. However, it really is well worth exploring if you're near to Phuket town. And taking a look around, there's a temple here, there's a sports centre, there's various places where you can take in some exercise or just relax, have some food and enjoy the beautiful views. Well, as always, I hope you've enjoyed the video and if so, please do remember to give it a thumbs up and share it on social media as it will help my channel. If there's more you want to know about Phuket and Thailand in general, then please do feel free to subscribe to the channel. So thanks for watching the video and until next time, I'll catch you on the next one.